Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, I'm your host, Mrs. M. And if you haven't, make sure you click the link below. That way you can subscribe to my channel and not miss out on anything you need to scale your cleaning business to six figures and beyond. Pow! So in today's video, I'm going to actually go over the scoring of the proposal. So what does that look like? What does it look like when you get a hundred or what does it look like when you get a 30? So let's kind of break that down. And there are five areas for what the scores look like. And I'll give you a little bit about why you receive that score. And then there's four areas that you want to pay attention to that actually make up the score. Now, first, I'm going to give you what the scores are. Then I'm going to tell you a little bit about why you scored what you did. And then I'm going to talk about what four areas actually make up what makes up that score. Now, why does this matter to you and why would you care about this video? Well, if you're looking to be involved in cleaning contracts for the government, it is absolutely important to you because this is how you win the proposals. There is called open competition. That means that you're actually bidding in open competition for this particular bid. Now, if you looked at my previous videos, I've broken it down into when you would have to bid and when you don't meaning that there may be a micro purchase or a SAP where you don't have to bid. But there are also a lot of cases, 60% of the bids are actually what we call open competition. So you want to make sure that you gather all the information so that you're able to get the best score possible. So the first score is anywhere from a 90 to 100. Well, let's say 91 to 100. Let's consider that an A. And that's when you have zero weaknesses. And the zero weaknesses actually make up the cost, the technical, the management, and then your past performance. So those four are what we look up to give you the score between the 91 and 100. So we look at what's your past performance look like? What is the cost that you actually provided? What was your price? What kind of managerial skills do you have compared to what is needed for the contract. And then we look at the technical. How are you going to actually perform what we're looking for? So in five, six, in our next code, which is 561720, that could be very. Now, actually, we deal with a lot of what we call facilities management. That could be landscaping. That could be window services, custodial, janitorial, housekeeping, all of that. So you want to look at what the four components I mentioned past performance. What does that look like? Have you done similar contracts that you're looking to go after? So in other words, you're setting yourself up for failure. If you're looking to go after a contract that is $190,000 and you've only done a $35,000 contract. So try to stay with similar or you definitely want to be, I would recommend that you highly, I would highly recommend that you stay within that similar size. So past performance, your managerial skills. You are going to need management and depending on how large that contract is, it's going to depend on how much management you need. Technical, how are you going to perform? If they're looking at a certain type of way that you go after, I know there is something that they call scan clean and that may be that there is a certain level of cleaning that they are looking for and maybe what they call a skip, which might be a classified building. That's going to be totally different than someone that's doing an HR building you know, an HR agency or something like that, where there's an HR department and an agency, totally different technical skill set and management. And then the other thing you want to look at, of course, is cost. So if I'm scoring your proposal, all of those areas are on point when it comes to from 91 to 100. And then I'm looking at from 90 to 71. That's considered very good. That would be considered like a B. That means that you have everything except for maybe one or two. Maybe your management may not be as high as the other one or your technical may not be as high, but you still rank between a 90 and a 71. The third would be good, and I would give you that between a 70 and a 51. That would be considered a C for those of us that remember that in school. So that would be considered a C. You probably have an average. You have maybe three things that are good. Let's say, you're, well, let's say you have mm, two things that are great. Your past performance looks pretty good. Maybe we're looking for five and you have three. Your management skills look pretty good. Your managerial team looks good. But your cost doesn't look very good and your technical doesn't. So that's why you're kind of like even. 
And then the, the next would be fair. And fair would be from 31 to 50. And that's where you have more that are a weakness than you have strength. And of course, last is where it's poor. And that would be anywhere from zero to 30. So these are the way that all of the proposals are actually scored. And they are looked upon with those four elements that I mentioned. So what I'd love for you to do is start looking at your management. Look at your management. How is it drafted? Do you have an org chart? I know we really, you know, kind of talk a lot about organizational charts and what does that look like? What does your management team look like? What does your cost when you're looking to do your proposal? What's that look like? What does your past performance look like? And then of course your technical. Do you know how to perform technically what they're looking for in that proposal? Now, some proposals are definitely not as complicated as the one that I just went over. But if you're looking to make the big bucks and go higher and higher, then you definitely want to start looking at the breakdown of the scores that I gave you. There's a lot of money in government cleaning contracts. And I know personally, because I've been fortunate enough to do quite a few and help other students and clients. So if you're interested in learning some of the things that I just gave you that I'm going to actually go over in my free masterclass, where I go over the steps that you need to learn. And my goal is to get more and more people. They said that there are more small businesses that have not, let me put it like this. There are more new small businesses that are actually doing less government. So in other words, the same small businesses that have always been there are doing it. And there's not a lot of new companies that are coming aboard because they feel like it's too complex, it's too technical. But I can't emphasize enough that the steps that you need are not as challenging as you may think. And that the payout is oh so worth it. So definitely give it a go. You will not regret it. And if you have any other questions or you want to learn any more about our master classes or what services that we may offer to help you get to the next level, then please reach out to us at 407-986-8228. That's 407-986-8228. In the meantime, click to register for my free masterclass where I go into everything that you need to meet the requirements in 2022 to win that lucrative government cleaning contract. And I always say, whether you've won zero or this is your seventh one, please make sure that you sign up for the masterclass because we have different levels and we bring you all along on the same page slowly. So until next time, be safe, take care. And if you like this video and the content, please give it a big thumbs up. I love, love, love that. Till next time, be safe and take care. Bye-bye.